Hello everybody, welcome back to Barrow's Garage. What's going on? Let's see if I can get this all figured out here. There we go. Oh, so who all we got in the chat here already? Looks like Auto Salvage, good to see you. Stephen Holtz, good to see you, man. <clears throat> Did you get those uh those uh goodies all brought home? <laughs> that comment's got me pretty interested there. Landon, always good to see you, cousin Mike. Hope you're feeling better. Ah, uh, it got me too. It got me bad. Spencer's food reviews. How's it been going, man? And it looks like that's everybody there. Oh, here we go. We got Mr. Stephen Holtz in the house. Hey, How's it going? Um, Stephen? <laughs> How you been? Oh, been busy, but good. Oh, good. Did you get everything all uh, figured out there? Yeah, we, uh, hold on. I'm trying to get my other stuff set up here. We did pretty good. Um, we got Scott's car, our car home. We got the other vehicle home and well we got all three of them um really it was almost like a uh, back to back um retrieval on the uh dart sport and the uh Ply plymouth valiant oh so yeah all three of them are home and i'm trying to work on my stuff instead of everybody else's now <laughs> <laughs> that's the hard part <laughs> Yeah, well, we put pulled two out of the uh, junkyard and one out of the uh, yard over there at uh, the Dodge Whisperers, so none of the three of them were my cars. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, I guess uh, everybody knows that the 70s going to Scott, and then we finalized it yesterday. Uh, the Dart Sports going to Jason Falk at uh, Rabbit Transit Garage. And then we're also uh, the Valiant Effort. My son bought it off of Duddy. So. You able to hear me? or? Yeah, I hear you there. For some reason, I don't have the chat showing up on this screen. I got to watch it over on the other screen. Huh. I must have pushed a button or something. <laughs> yeah, I, I was looking over here just a minute ago. Happy New Year to you too, Tim. Yeah. Happy birthday. Or uh, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday to the new year. Happy New Year. Yeah. I think, did I say birthday? Happy New Year. <laughs> I think I did. Pure Pontiac Garage, too. Great to see you. Robbie, always good to see you, man. And 162. Yeah, uh, Pure Pontiac Garage got some good uh, subs there yesterday at, on uh, John Wilburn's uh, live there. Oh, really? Yeah, I got I, I subbed on there. He probably got good 20 subs off of uh, that live. So, how's everybody been? Enjoying the new announcement. We got, what, 200 and something days. 200... 264. Yep. <laughs> September 21st and 23rd through the 23rd. The No Name Nationals. 2023. The second annual. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tim's saying it right there, 264. Thank you, Adol Savage Outlaws. So, other than uh, running through the junkyards there, and I can't figure out how to get these dang comments to show up over here. <laughs> I think it's because I had this set for private first so I could set up a thumbnail. And now it's saying YouTube doesn't support comments on private videos. 
but it's not private. It's, <laughs> it's one of those computer things. Yeah. <laughs> so other than digging through the junkyards, you got anything done on yours? Uh, on the house? Well, today, you'll see. I've worked on the house so far a little bit. I got to go do that on Monday. Um, tonight, I actually uh, started the uh, 68 Fairlane for the first time since No Name Nationals. Oh, really? Yeah, because when we got back, it just was one of those uh, deals where we got everything parked. I checked the spark plugs and then pulled it back, and then I've been busy since then. So I had never actually even <laughs> restarted the car. I pulled the battery out of the Mercury and stuck it in, the, in my little Massey. So I ain't even touched the car since No Name Nationals. <laughs> I think there's quite a few people that are the same in the same situation. But this is gonna be it's gonna be fun. I'm glad they I'm kind of glad they left it at 500 subs for uh, No Name Nationals. Yeah. That'll help us get all these new guys up and over. I mean, and if any of you guys out there have any questions on how to build and how to get your 500 subs or even to go even farther than that, you know, I say everybody keep the goal in mind for the monetization because uh, you can very easily do it. I, I was uh, I came in and started in February after the original announcement was done. So I was already. It had already been announced before I jumped in on it. And I had five, 55 subscribers from previously. And I got all of my subscribers plus by the time I hit No Name Nationals. And that was even, I had one instance where a computer hey, You had no I, time. I lost, I lost a bunch of content clips and everything. Lost my computer, had to get a new computer, set up all that type of stuff. And then there were two other instances where work broke in and it just, I got called in to work extra and I just eliminated a whole nother two weeks worth of time that would normally been put into the, um, into actually making content and getting content out and everything. So there were a couple times that, uh, it, you know, it was rough, but we still did it. And even then we still got it. I mean, heck, I, I was looking at a uh, video from J Ray Racing today. I didn't realize I was that close in subs to him because he got his 500 subs way before I did, months before I did. And yet we're within probably about 50 subs of each other or less. Uh -huh. So thank you, Pure Pontiac Garage. I appreciate your sub. Man, I wish I could figure this out. I can't highlight any of the comments up onto the screen up here because it's it, I screwed up. <laughs> that was a, a lesson learned. If you'd want to do one of these lives on StreamYard and if you set it up for private first so you can go in and change stuff around, it screws up the comments. So uh -huh. you, it makes it hard to do that. Okay. First time I tried it like that, usually I set it for private on the YouTube side and change it. This time I thought, oh, it's there. I'll just cheat it around and do it this way. Well, I cheated and lost. <laughs> hey, Leighton, good to see you, man. Yeah, and you were able to do that with very little time because you're out on the boat forever. Yeah, basically... I'm working three weeks on three weeks off, but you also got to remember that my travel time to and from work is actually on my time. So I'll lose uh -huh. at least three days overall from that as well. Plus family time, plus, you know, mm -hmm. all the other stuff that we do, but it's, it's very, very, very doable. I mean, we, we had a couple guys who started and, Within a month, they'd already gotten all their stubs. Shorts are one way to do it, mm -hmm. but you got to be careful with them. Uh, I've noticed that you'll get massive sub bumps. But if you can't hold on to those people, you know, if they don't watch your stuff, they drop. I'm expecting here in about 
uh any time now w when it comes to about march i'm gonna lose about a thousand thousand subs probably really? you, you think you're gonna lose that many I, i'm pretty sure of it from all of the shorts you know because i've been watching that and uh i get about 10 percent of all of them that actually go through and they, they watch my videos and they'll comment and stuff like that. And I notice in the analytics uh, that, you know, about that many from those big bumps are watching it. So I've noticed YouTube, if, if you don't watch somebody's stuff, uh, they'll, they'll drop you as a sub. I know that, um, I know we should be doing pretty good. I mean, it's um, as long as you can keep the shorts up to a certain extent. I think like you and uh, Mike had both said that keep the shorts up. Uh, make sure you take and try to put them up at the same time every day. Yeah. Consistency is so important. That's sometimes part of the, uh, part of my problem. But if you can do that, I mean, that brings in quite a few subs. I was surprised. And I've played with that. Uh... I've, I've broken out of my consistency and uh, I'll throw a video out, then it'll just do, 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 tank for a while and then it'll pick up and it'll tank for a while. And The problem with subs from shorts is those people only want to watch shorts. Exactly. That's why I say that 90% of them, they're only, they're, uh, the way I picture it is they're sitting on the toilet and they're flipping it like this as they're sitting on the toilet. And they're mostly phone stuff. When I would get those big bumps off of a short and I'd look on the analytics side, it, it would show that all of that was coming from mobile. And then, you know, that would be a big boost for a while and then it would go back to PC. The, the normal, you know, lines on the graph. I know at different times, like like you said, I, if you go to uh, people sitting on the toilet or something like that, or if you've got short periods of time when you have free time, I notice that I tend to like the shorts because, boom, I can knock them out real quick, knock out a couple of them. Whereas when you sit down to watch a, another video, if it's 10, 15 minutes long, it's like, Eh, I can't do that right now. Yeah, but I've noticed that. When I get off, when I'm actually away from work, it's like, okay, now I can watch the longer one. So I am, but it does it does go back and forth, even with me. And if you can tie your shorts to a video you're doing, that helps tremendously. And see, I need to start doing that a little bit more, but... <laughs> it's something that you have to go through. Some of this stuff you need to actually be real. How should we say? You got to be uh, uh, when you set up to do something, you got to remember, OK, I need to take a picture for my thumbnail. I need to. This is what I'm going to be doing. And sometimes, you know, what you're working on, the car is going to go here, there and yonder. But you kind of want to be deliberate about some of the stuff that you do. And sometimes I have a real problem with that because I. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly, me too. <laughs> so, and I mean, there's some, there's people out there better than I am at doing some of this stuff, but I even noticed um, going back to the junkyard pullout stuff that even those videos are starting to do good again. That as soon as I put one, put the prep work one that we did on the 70, just putting the rear axle back in and explaining what the process was going to be, that one it jumped up real fast and real good. Which I should be editing a video right now, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get back out there and get one done. Boy, I've been sick for the past week and a half. Really about two weeks. This is the first time I've been up and on my feet. Again, I apologize about not being able to highlight your comments up on here. You got some really good ones going on in there. I, they're not showing up on my screen because I screwed up screw, uh, StreamYard today. 
don't set it for private <laughs> and then change it on YouTube. It doesn't change it on StreamYard. So you can't, there's no comments mm -hmm. on this screen. I got to have it in this screen. And I've talked to Scott the other day about uh, that uh, car show you were talking about. Was it Car Delane or something like that? Yeah, Car Delane. And he said he doesn't, uh, they haven't put out the date yet for this next year. Yeah. But it's looking like that, um, based off what they did last year, it looks like they did it on the third weekend of the month. It's usually on Father's Day weekend, somewhere around in there. Okay. So. It's, it, it's really cool. It may be one of those things where maybe I just need to drive to your place, work on some cars for a couple of days, and then we drive up there afterwards. <laughs> come on over. <laughs> Go do the car show and then come back and finish. I got the lift up now, so hey. I haven't put anything on it yet, but it's up. <laughs> and it'll be warm in there finally. Mm -hmm. Pure Pontiac Garage. Yes. Um, being old isn't an excuse. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. Um, with the video editing stuff, there are so many different programs from free to paid, from computer to cell phone. It's um it's almost like like I have a lot of problems a lot of times that if my I can't wrap my mind around it because my mind's weird. I can't use certain things, but I've got a program that I go, oh, well, this is, this is, you know, the way I can see how this is all goes together and I can use it. And so there are different types of programs, different types of um, styles of editing. Even you, you go through and look at mine and mine fades from one clip to the next. And then you look at uh, Duddy from Eric from Duddy's adventures and his is chop, 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 chop. He chop cuts it to where it's up. You look at uh, other people and they like to do sprinkly things and car wrecks and then the screen changes. It's just each person has a little bit different style and you'll figure out your own style. For me, I just cut the fat out. That's mm -hmm. all I do in my editing. Uh, I just skip it to the meat and potatoes. Like if I got to walk over to the toolbox and get a tool, I'll cut that out. So, yeah. Nobody likes to watch, like Blake said, uh, at Bad Tree Productions. Nobody wants to see your feet as you're walking over to the next thing. So I'll take and I'll just, that's all I do is I cut those out. Or uh, like if it, I'm grinding on something, I'll speed that up. And so I can keep it within about five minutes. That That's mm -hmm. five to ten minute uh, videos. So that's that's it for the editing for me. I used to try to razzle dazzle them a little bit, put in like little special effects and stuff, but I noticed that kind of turns people off. I, I for, noticed for my style, though, I, I've seen it yeah. work for other people, but for the way I do it, it doesn't work. You also have to be careful. Sometimes uh, there's a, a tendency to throw a bunch of uh, time lapse in there. And sometimes yeah. that'll hurt you as well. Sometimes it's exactly. good depending on the type of project you're doing. Sometimes it hurts. Oh, Jason's here. Good to see you, Jason. Happy New Year, man. Let's see. Can we, Brian. Three channels on YouTube. I can't have any of them monetized. I am on disability. But I do love showing my videos to everyone. Uh, Tim, don't don't worry about that. Uh, you can monetize it uh, and, and just leave it in the account. So it's not it's not shown income until you pull it out. So it, it can act as kind of a savings for you if you do get them monetized. Because nobody knows about the income you've made until you've made it, and you haven't made it until you pull it out. I know a lot of guys, like John Wilburn, uh, he he's never pulls out of his. He just lets it sit there and build and build and build like a 
like a hidden savings account. There's a lot of ways you can do this kind of stuff. <laughs> and when I when I talk about, you know, set monetization as your goal, I'm just talking about use those guidelines. You know, you have to have a thousand subs. What is it? Four thousand watch hours. You know, set that as your goal. And then if it takes off and it starts to work into, you know, Lord knows you, you can make a lot of money at this if you do go like vice grip, but <laughs> I don't I I don't have think a mind's ever gonna do that. <laughs> okay, Brian from Dust Devil was saying uh collaboration videos help a lot too. Yes, they do. I saw that I was wanting to jump back on that it's i'm accidentally jumping into a bunch of collaboration videos because of all the cars i've been pulling out but are there uh brian is there any uh are there any uh i don't know clues or uh tips or whatever that you could give on doing collaboration videos because i figure you probably have done a few more than some of us even and even if you don't know somebody that is a uh, big you know you're doing a, a collaboration with a big channel that the of course that's going to help you tremendously but even if you just bring in somebody that nobody's ever heard of you know that will boost your videos uh look at jb's little shop uh and if you haven't go check his channel out him and lars have been collaborating together forever and the way they play off of each other is just golden there he is spigular devil there he is hey jb good to see you <laughs> jb but yeah if, if you can contact another channel and uh physically go there or do a live like this with another big channel uh golden that's that's just golden stuff yeah some of the uh some of the people i've done small videos with um on mine there's brian hey brian what's up the dad gums good to see you man oh yeah happy new year happy new year to you oh i Those just got some great comments man sorry i couldn't highlight up here oh. All right. So how's things in St. Louis, man? Oh, it's actually the weather's finally breaking. It's nice. And I got a few days off of work and I'm gonna be back in the back in the shop working on the duster like probably tomorrow. Sweet. It's like I keep saying, she wife's behind me back there, and I got my buddy over here. We're just gonna hang out because we're doing my live later. Yeah. And I got you set for the redirect, so as soon okay. as I click off, everybody should shoot over to you. But yeah, I mean, you guys were talking about um, editing and stuff. Uh huh. One bit of advice that I mean, I've seen a lot of the a lot of the stuff that people are, you know, like like John Wilburn does the does the uh, the live to. Um, help people get their get their channel where they get subs uh -huh. one thing people don't mention is try to make better videos every time yeah. try this next video try to make it a little bit better than the last one just a little bit better you don't have nobody's i'm not good at this my videos aren't good you know but <laughs> you look at you but you know you look at somebody like like uh well i say he's, he's, he's a good friend of mine jed from scott's speech yeah. mm-hmm he makes excellent videos. I mean, he's got that down, but hell, he's been doing it for years now. You know, you guys got background noise for me? Can you hear that TV uh, in the background? A little bit. Oh, uh, if it gets annoying, let me know. That's all right. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's just like it's just like yeah, getting getting subs is one thing, but there's some channels out there like uh, my buddy watches a, uh or was watching a channel i don't know if you guys ever watched it rambling around no 
I've Rambling heard of around. it, but I haven't seen it. I'm going to try to get in touch with the guy because he lives close to Sykeston. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, he's, he's got a badass GTO. But he's and and he was getting he's he's up he's up like hundred thousand subs, but his last few videos have only been getting like a thousand views on a video. And I'm like, well, you got a hundred thousand subs and you only get a thousand views on a video. There's something wrong, you know. That's weird. One the, thing uh, I go off on that is the ten percent rule. Uh, I ten percent in twenty four was... hours. Yeah, yep. I don't remember who it was that gave that one, but that's a good. That know, that that, that was one of the things Uncle Tony said, and that that's one of my was steadfast, it him? Yeah, my steadfastest. I basically because I don't have a whole lot of subs. I've only got seven hundred, but I haven't really been. I never really got into this to try to grow a channel. That's uh -huh. why you know, like, you know what I say at the end of my videos. I, I, I kind of mean it. If you don't like it, don't subscribe, you know. I'm, I'm not. Because I don't, I, I, I mean, I'm not doing this to make money. You're never, I, I don't think you're ever going to make a ton of money. It's hard to make a ton of money. It's Mr. Wilburn. Oh, oh, hello, John. You're going to be everywhere tonight, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Because I know is is Blake live right now, or is he going live here in a little bit? Yeah, they'll they'll be probably all night. I remember last year he didn't do all night; he only did a couple hours, and then they cut it. But I know I'm going to be all night. So, by the way, Mister Barrows, I noticed that the oh, comments are not on Streamyard; they're only on YouTube. Oh yeah, they're not. Yeah. It Mine. says that YouTube doesn't support comments on private videos. You might want to check your settings there. I, I just went through them. I can't figure out where it's at. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. I got to I gotta watch them over there. When I set up my stream, I set it up as private so I could put the thumbnail and all of that stuff in. Usually See, I do that on yeah. the YouTube side. No. So something's no, I, not I, conflict. Yeah, that's what it is. It doesn't so let I you can't change highlight them or nothing. Ah, I screwed up. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, uh, bring, up, bring, up, bring up Bear Roses. Bear Rose, you got a uh, comment in here by BNR Racing. It says, uh, close friend is looking for a dark Ford Windsor 8.2 inch deck height block. Any leads? A dark block? Yeah, a uh, dark block. With the 8.2 deck height. I don't. Mostly all I that. play with is stock stuff. Yeah. I modify from stock, but yeah. When it gets into like dart uh, blocks and stuff like that, heesh, my wallet jumps out, hits the floor, and scurries <laughs> away. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the problem. It's like my duster was built 90% swap meat parts. Mm -hmm. well, swap meats and deals. The 68 Fairlane, the uh, uh, short block on that car actually came out of a van, like an 86 mm -hmm. van. I got a, uh, a 360 in, in my in my duster that I bought from Jed was a truck motor. Yeah. Same thing. It's a motor. Same thing. It's yeah. A motor. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like we're getting a little feedback somewhere. I got it. Here. Do we have it here. here. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's see comments. I got my YouTube. I'm running YouTube on my phone for the comments. Yeah. That way I got real time on StreamYard. Again, I apologize about that. You know, if somebody's going to make a mistake, it's going to be me. You guys are on the team on, on, on our big TV. And we hey. can get some comments there. Hey, hey, Barrows, the only people that don't make mistakes are people who aren't doing anything. Exactly. Hey, you want to you want to not make a mistake building an engine? Just don't build one. There you go. Exactly. Problem solved. You know what? 
I have never made a mistake picking out a dress to wear. Never, never once. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah, I mean, there is a way to avoid mistakes, but it's got a penalty. <laughs> it hurts a little bit, yeah. Right. <laughs> this live thing, you gotta, you gotta go through some trial and error, right? <laughs> This is the stuff that we tell the No Name 500 guys. We learned all this stuff by messing stuff up again, and that's how we learned it. Yep. Yeah. Well, like just just well, like I said earlier about ed about editing videos and making videos, just your first video is always going to be junk. Yeah. You know, oh man, mine was awful. Your first video is going to get a bad. little bit better every time. You're not going to be a movie star first time out. <laughs> I'm far from a movie star now. Hey, hey Mr. Buck. Good to oh, see you, man. Happy New Year. And for me, I I don't like the over-edited stuff. I don't like too much flim-flam flash in them. You know, I, I don't watch Count's Customs anymore. I don't watch Vegas Rat Rods anymore. Yeah. You know, all yeah. of that big production stuff. I don't watch anymore because it had too much flim flam. I think that's why YouTube's taken over because it's real people mm -hmm. doing real stuff. And your average guy can sit there and say, oh, wow, I could do that. Or I can learn I, to do that. I have watched 100% more Dust Devil Garage than Counts Customs in 2022, I can assure you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, no doubt. Well, I wish I had the views that Counts Customs gets. Now, I mean, but see, that look, that's what this sign is all about. You know, the, the doers enjoy what the doers do. Mm -hmm. And to the dreamers, it's just, oh, look, that looks cool. I mean, so there's a more tangible element to the stuff we're doing because we really are doing stuff that regular people can do. Well, and isn't that the thing? Like all those car shows, just about everyone that's out there, people like us, we're sitting there watching that. And like, how did you do that? I want to know how to do that. You know, they don't do it. and they never show it. Yeah. Didn't, um, didn't Steve and say that they, they, they said he wanted he, they didn't want him to be too teachy? I don't know. I know he said that he'd never be able to do his deer head thing. You know. I know something he said too. <laughs> I bet you do. That was funny. Yep, I've looked all over through all the settings. Yep, there's no way to change it. <laughs> yeah, I think you'd have to change it through StreamYard. But you'd have yeah. to go back. Yeah, you probably have to shut it down and start it back up. Yeah. We'll just roll with it like this, and then we'll all meet over to Dust Devils right here. And what, what time do you go on? Uh, about an hour. About I an mean, hour? Okay. I know you usually run till around nine, don't you? Uh, it depends. I just kind of keep it going until something <laughs> else. <laughs> that's my background on my computer, that picture. That's the nice. best picture I have of the car. Man, the knuckle duster sure looks good. Well, what are you bringing out? Me? Yeah, you're going to bring I'm something not sure out? yet. Probably going to be the 58. Okay. Cool. Well, and if anything, it's not guaranteed that I'm going to have the duster there this year. I really want to. I'm going to try like hell. You It'll be done, but more, if I break right? it. My problem is if I'm if, 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 uh, doing all the testing, if I break it. No, this year I'm trailering. Go out there, test, break stuff, because if you're far enough ahead to go out and test and break stuff, you're a whole lot more likely to get it done than unfinished. Work oh, yeah. No, it's not. It can't be unfinished. Like like I said, the No Name Nationals is not my is not my goal now. My wife wants me to do her truck. I got to get that thing done before I do her truck. My goal is to be able to actually not sleep on the couch. 
You know what I would do? <laughs> that really is the goal. If that's the goal, just stop right now, do the truck, and see if you have any time left over to bring the duster. Nah, we, we, we're not going to have the truck till March. And I really should have the duster at least running by March. I got right. first, first responders got a good question there. Is it bad to speed up a video on editing? I hear it's annoying. For me, I do it. If it's something, you know, long drug out, I'll, I'll speed it up. Yeah, if, if there's a lot of noise in it, too, I'll speed it up. Yeah. yeah. If, you know, if, you, like if grinding you show, and yeah. hammering. Like, yeah, that's the difference. If it's Some people close, try uh, to speed it to make it take less time. Like radio, that's a big no-no. People will pick up on that and click off. It'll give them a headache. But if it's pork or fat that you're just trying to keep sped up, then you're better off cutting it out. Yeah. If you're not if actually... You go to over, I think, to me, if it goes over like a minute of watching the fast stuff, if it goes over like a minute watching the time lapse then you need to cut it up to where it'll go about, you know, the most a minute because people get bored of watching, just watching time lapse. Mm -hmm. My, my rule of thumb is, is, is if it's something that you can see, like our billboard going up, engraving, 3D printing, anything that you can visually see change over the whole time you film it, that's something good for doing a time lapse. If it's something that you can't tangibly see, like you're measuring or clearance, that's something that's not worth doing a time lapse on. Nobody will appreciate that. Like if you're showing somebody how to lay a bead when you're welding, that's good to, you know, leave it alone so they can watch it go. But Grinding it off and smoothing it out, I'll, I'll I'll speed that stuff up. You know, just it's running a grinder. You know, it's hard. Well, to, that the sparks and stuff look better when they're when they're sped up, and people yeah. love seeing sparks and fire. <laughs> and, Especially fast forward. Well, fast, fast know, forward is a tool. It's not a replacement for somebody who yeah. rambles too long in their garage. So if you got some process that takes 30 minutes and you're using fast forward to shorten that up, that's not going to play well at all. But if you got a process people would watch because it's interesting, you just want, like, for instance, you're welding a bead and you know that welding that's going to take so long, you can speed that up and they can just watch the bead go around real quick. That, that might yeah. be a place for it, for example. Or start it and let it go for about a minute and then speed it up after that yeah. if it's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah play around with it and i usually yeah. cut the sound mute it during my speed ups and then i'll throw uh, some of the youtube only from the mm -hmm. library music in there so it just kind of a so it's not dead air you know and then go right into what else i used it i used it whenever like sherry was sanding on the car just to show that it was getting done uh -huh. You know, so you, you show sand it on the car and it's with it, it time lapse for like 15, 20 seconds. Then, okay, because nobody wants to watch you sand on a car. Body yeah. work is the most boring thing there, to watch. <laughs> there, there's a time to use music over a time lapse and a time not to. Most of the time you should. Like, like I was doing a time lapse on a sign that I did. And rather than have the screech of the printer get amplified, speeding it up, I did a time lapse so you could see it coming off the printer real fast, but I put music over it. Mm -hmm. yeah. The time you wouldn't do that, look like, let's say that you, you, you were filming and you, you wanted to catch a funny argument two people were having. You see them getting all animated, but you can't hear them anyway, right? You could time lapse that just to show how much funny body language there is, but it would be funny to let it just squeak away while they're talking and not dub anything over it. So there's 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 a few times when you're better off not putting music over it. But most have, of the time, yeah. Have you ever watched Old Man's Garage? Huh? Not no, much. Old Man in the shop? Is. No, Old Man's Garage. He, his, his son is a, a street racer and no prep racer. And his wife will read where they're going to be. Well, he speeds up his wife talking, but he, he says he puts her in squirrel mode because because he thinks she takes too long reading the stuff. And it's just funny. <laughs> that sounds like he wants to sleep on the couch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah. Guys, I got a dash. I got to get some work done on this cart. I will see y'all later, though, okay? Great. Nice to know you're good good morning, welcome and anytime. High. And remind Bear Rose, we're 264 here. That orange paper's out. That orange we'll thumb gun's out. <laughs> we'll see y'all. See you later. See you later, John. It started out with a uh, 265 yesterday, Barrows, which is a small block Chevy, one of the first ones. Yeah. All right. Pretty soon it'll be a 260 Ford. <laughs> Well, I just wanted to it's stop in and say happy, way. happy New Year. Uh, happy I'm going to head bro. out. You guys have a great night. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year to you. In the chat. Um, I think they all came over from mine anyway. Not all of them, but a lot of the guys came over. So, well, good. I hope they stay here cool. and then they come over to mine after this one's done. It's possible. And for everybody out there, when you start getting your... Uh, doing these lives and stuff collaborate in just like dust devil was saying collaborating with other channels oh, you can yeah. collaborate this way you know so yeah, when your yeah. live ends everything just goes over to the next one everything goes to the next guy you know right. helping each other out this way so people and love seeing these going. lives and they'll watch them all night yeah yep i've had people watch six hours of me and jed talking <laughs> i mean it's crazy yeah, me and, and Ben has been, been doing a redirect way. for a while. Yeah. Well, I think we were the first ones of the group to try it. Yeah. When they first got it out. Mm -hmm. We we, right. we guinea pigged ourselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We didn't know what we were doing either, but we figured it <laughs> nope. out. Yep. Yeah. All right, I'm going. Won. You guys have a great night. Great Happy to see New you. Year. Man. Thank you for the coffee, Stephen. It was excellent. Thank you. No problem. And uh, see you later, Brian. See you later. Oh, yeah, you brought that coffee to the... Yeah. I didn't get any of it. Jed's dad said it's awesome, so I'm going to have to... If you bring some this year, I'm going to have to get some. That or I can ship it to you. Hmm? Although, uh... Jason, we know how much it is. I'm looking for some chat, good coffee. If we end up coming through St. Louis with a certain uh, vehicle... <laughs> uh, we just have to drop some off for you. Hell yeah, stop by the shop. Let me know. Hit me up. There you go. Facebook. Yeah, we're we're still trying. What's been interesting is like I, I told them earlier, I pull I've pulled three cars out in less than a week and a half, or about a week and a half. Two of them out of a junkyard, one of them out of somebody's uh, backyard. But none of them are mine, but two of them will bring up a collaboration videos because one of them was for uh, Scott at Heaven's Mopars. The other mm -hmm. one's for Jason. And then the other one's my son's car. And that's a collab video with Duddy. Because he bought it off of Duddy for two breakfast tacos. What? What is it? <laughs> a Valiant it's Effort. Be a truck. The green uh, Valiant. The Valiant Effort. What year is it? It's a 75 Plymouth Valiant four-door. The green that one. The green he, one? Yes. <laughs> so, there wasn't much left of that. Actually, there's quite a bit. It's actually, for me, I thought it was in a lot more decent shape than what he had said. Uh, we've already I, got another uh, K member for it and stuff like that. So it's already here at the house. You know, I've been watching Duddy since he started. And actually, at the No Name Nationals, he he, he is the only person that I kind of like fanboyed out on. I was like, oh, Duddy. He said he screwed up. He said, man, I drive him past. He said, Brian's going, hey, dude, wake it up. He said he didn't figure it out till he looked at his camera. He said he had to go back and apologize for driving oh, off. Yeah. I didn't see you. The thing is, everybody was so busy. Oh, heck yeah. And him... I think I and I I said it I said it there. I think that they told him you got to keep running the car till it runs out of gas because he was just hot lapping that. He was having a blast. He got bit. He definitely got bit. Although yeah, I, I really I, like Duddy. I think with a few exceptions, though, I think pretty much anybody you talk to, everybody stayed pretty busy to one point mm -hmm. or the other. I think everybody has come back and said, hey, 
I really wish I'd have spent more time talking to more people. I go to a lot of shows and car shows and events and stuff. And that was the only one that I wish would have gone another day. Because usually, because like I'll go to like Holly Mo party and it's really cool. But I've seen everything the first day. I'm good. I'm going to go home. But that, I wanted it to last longer. Yeah. I'm glad they added the Thursday because then now we got a, a, a day of we can actually move around and talk. And, and they're going to try to get a lot of the tech done on Thursday Yeah. this time. So it'll get a lot smoother. Of course, this last year went smooth. I mean, I can't think of any hiccups. It, is, it was the best event. Like I said, it was the best event I've been to, and I've been to a lot of them. I think the only only hiccup, real, the real hiccup that I saw the, out of the whole deal is that they had a hard time getting the prep set up for uh, drag racing to start the first day. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, it went, what, two hours over what they wanted it to, but, hey, stuff happens. This and you're so busy going around meeting everybody that yeah. actually the drag racing was kind of second place, you know? Everybody was there to meet everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you said, Brian, <laughs> it was a family reunion you wanted to be at. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's that going to go. I think, I think the racing is going to go secondary. I'm really glad, even though I didn't bring my car, that I showed up. You know, because oh, it, yeah. it was it's it's really less about the cars and just everybody being there and there was there was quite a few it didn't seem like it because there was nobody sitting in the stands, but there was quite a few people, quite a few viewers walking around. Yeah, yeah. And that's what they did the whole time was walk around and meet everybody. They didn't get in the stands. Yeah, it was it was more about the people. I mean, even I went to the zip tie drags, the last one that they had, landed. Uh, the last hey, one because they of Mike had before they turned it into it. duct tape drags, and there, there's a different, definitely a different feel to it because it's definitely it was, it was family versus about them. Yeah. But see, I didn't think there were gonna be a lot of people in the stands anyway because I went to. Uh, one of the no prep kings events with the street outlaws guys do mm-hmm. and it, that's basically the exact same thing happened just on a smaller scale there was nobody in the stands everybody's wanting to meet all the people mm-hmm. so back out of it back into it i think the hardest hey. thing to do oh what was that i think you're uh some with your audio is messed up or is that me? Did you have the Corona 23? What is that? I don't know what it is. COVID 47? Whatever it is, it's annoying. Oh, hold on. That's me. Oh. <laughs> I want to go around. Me. Okay. Oh, you know. Did somebody Sorry, I had Discord up. That was actually uh, <laughs> um, Rob Z and uh, Ryan Barsness talking. Oh, cool. Those are great guys, too. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually gone through a couple times when I was in the junkyard and said, Hey, Ryan, does this, tr- uh, does this fender from this year work on this car over here? <laughs> I was asking him about uh I was asking about 71 72 fenders for a uh, 71 ch- or 73 Charger SE that I found. For his age, he really knows his stuff, you know? Yeah. He's like the Steve Mags of Mopar, I tell you. <laughs> well, and that's like and that's like Jed, look at all that he's done. He's, he's turning 30 this year. Yeah, he's only 30. When I was 30, I didn't even I didn't know I still don't know nothing, you know, <laughs> compared to those two. Uh, see, I, I was 
I was super excited. I've been trying to go up and meet Jed a couple times, and every time it gets shut down. So when I got there, I just walked up and gave him a big hug. <laughs> it was like no handshake, just big hug, and that was that. Oh, Kiwi, I think it's going to be the 58 Ford Tudor 300. I, th I think I'm going to go bring the gasser. <laughs> That, I, I'm pretty sure. It'll either be that or it'll, it'll be the 1950 Ford F4. Whichever one I can dig out of the field. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever one we can get out of the ice. <laughs> Whichever one Cousin Mike jumps in at the time when I got the backhoe running. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to make some videos with some of my old war trophies. There's a, a bullet for you. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> We've got some, some mortars and stuff laying around. Nice. You know how hard that is to sneak out of the desert anymore? <laughs> hey, guys, I'm don't let go it. I'll talk to y'all later. Great. <coughs> you tonight, Brian. Brian. See y'all later in my live. If we'll you want to jump in, hit me up on Facebook. <clears throat> I'll send you a link. Sure, I'm not on Facebook much though. I'll I'll tell you that right now. I wonder if I could send you a link on text. I wonder if I could text you a link if it would if there's a way you could get it up onto your I don't know. We'll figure something out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right. I'll anyway, see you guys great later. Seeing you. Happy New Year. We'll see you over Happy at your New place Year. in just a bit. Hey Lars, wanna play lawn darts? <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> They said the I next used to have a couple of those there. dummy rounds, dummy bombs that they it's used to drop really out in the desert. This one has the timer head on it, so you can set it for how long you want it to go off. Set it and forget it. It's a Ronco. Set it and forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so I see you've got your uh, carburetor on there. You got that Elbrock on there? Or no, that was a Carter. Carter? Yeah. Yeah, I got to get the throttle linkage hooked up. I got the wrong wrong style linkage on my T-Bird for the throttle. Mm -hmm. I got to get the, the shaft with the ball connection on it. Oh. Mine has this stupid a little L-shaped deal you push in, and it has a little clip that comes down. Yeah. Those ones suck anyway, so... What I ended I'm just up starting to get a shaft and a ball piece. What I'd started doing is I grabbed some uh spherical <clears throat> ends, you know, like rod ends on it. Yeah. And I, I, I put a piece of all thread through there. <laughs> Anyways, uh yeah, but that's what I was gonna do. Just doing it like that, and the 67 fastback and <clears throat> the uh well 67 fastback, the 65 fairlane, and the uh 68 fairlane all have the same setup. Yeah. Not my feeling. Hey, Terry. Hey, good to see you, man. Mr. Terry Grover. Him and Ed's Machine. Boy, go check those two guys out. I always thought uh, stock 460 heads were just garbage. But until I seen what Terry Grover <laughs> could do with them things. <laughs> Hey Ari. Hey Ari. The 460. Good lord. If they, if they just would have. Ford had it. They had it back with the Y block. Perfect exhaust. Everything else about the Y block was <laughs> weird, but they had the exhaust perfect. <laughs> And then they did away with it. Yep. Ah. It's a rule in manufacturing. When you get it right, you have to completely change the design so that you just can't <laughs> have that shit. Let's come out with a big block that we can take, clear to 521 cubic inches, and then say, ah, let's go with a Triton that spits spark plugs. 
<laughs> There's a Ford for you. <laughs> already subscribed on that one. Okay. Oh, but I love all cars. It it don't matter what they are. Ford, Chevy. <clears throat> if it runs and makes noise, I like them all. All the way down to Briggs and Stratton. Those are the funnest ones. The Briggs and Strattons. It's like playing with a flathead. A flathead <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we need to build an awesome go-kart. He'd like to ride on it when we come up there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a question for Dallas. I wonder if they'd allow go-kart go -kart racing. Yeah, that'd be interesting. <clears throat> All over a closer. Okay. Yeah, we I don't know do if it. it'd go for this year, but, you know, a class for the next no-name nationals. We can at least build go-karts and race them here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That can work. Well, we're the old school one-wheel peel. Yeah. We'll try and we'll try and see. Uh, I know there's several people who are wanting to um, go back in and actually uh, talk to Dallas about what's going to be the uh, ruling as far as kids <laughs> driving. I'm probably too young. Blake is taking nitrous shots for super chats. Good lord! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Ace Off Road. Good to see you, man. I, again, I, I I sure apologize about screwing up the stream yard. I and not being able to highlight your comments and stuff. I am reading them. I, I just, I screwed it up. Hot Briggs and Strangle. Uh, Strangle not, big block, they run like hot Harleys and rev unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Only 5k to build. Oh, okay. Um, unfinished That's... project. Which one are you asking about? The uh, which crew cab, the actual truck or uh, the uh, Valiant? Sorry, he asked a question in the chat. Yeah, no problem. No problem. If, if you're asking about the pickup truck that was there, I was actually uh, working on, yeah, he said the truck. What was actually happening was I was over there uh, moving some parts around to pull a uh, valiant effort out. And uh, Duddy was actually moving that truck because he's moving from where he's been at Noah's place, at the Dodge Whispers place, to another place. So he's having to move all of his vehicles. So that's what actually that was a pick, uh, little short of his stuff. Yes. So. It was even his joke. He said, yeah, it's diesel powered. Then he yeah. points at the tractor. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Because I think he actually wants to put a Cummins in that one. Yeah. For towing, it, it's hard to beat a Cummins. Uh, well, up in the first gen 24 valve was the last of them, I'd, I'd have to say. The old 12 valves, good lord. We absolutely punished one. What is it, 5.9? The old 12 valve Cummins? I think that's Same ones that were in the pickups. Anyway, that's what we used to haul the... That's what was in our hauler for the monster truck, and it was way overloaded. And we run that thing for years and never had any troubles with it. It was actually a, a Bluebird school uh, school bus. Nice. That we cut in half, made like a, a big ramp truck out of it. <laughs> Very nice. That thing was cool. Nice. Sometimes I'll I find pictures take care of my it. dog and stuff. All right. Good to see you. And good to see you're back on your feet there, Landon. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. There we go. 
bathtub head conversion. <laughs> but, and I seen Freedom Freedom One Garage was in there. I'll do that a uh, cold start video challenge real soon. But right now we're getting some uh, unexpectedly warm weather come through. So it really wouldn't be a, too much of a cold start right now. Yeah. Problem is, when the weather warms up around here, that's when the snow comes. Well, it doesn't snow usually down here, so. <laughs> <We don't mind>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Come on up, and I'll put you to work on uh, on old Kenny, my little Massey, and you can plow out everybody's driveways. I think it was like 70 degrees up here, 74 degrees uh, this afternoon. So, uh, It's been in the 30s here. Oh, it really is a warm spell for y'all. Yeah. Yeah. We went from negatives to 30s. I, I don't like cold, cold. Yeah, me neither. I should have put off working out in the shop, cleaning the shop up like that until now. It would have been easy out there now. Instead yeah. of freezing my fingers. <laughs> I know how that feels. Did you see that uh, cold start video that 318 Will Run did? Where he actually, uh, he, he got a, uh, put like charcoal or whatever in a, uh, in like a hubcap, started it up, got the, uh, got it to where it was coals put the fire back out, but where it was still coals and stuck it underneath his uh, uh, oil pan so that it warmed the oil up and then he cranked it over. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it turned over nice. It, there wasn't any one, 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 it flat clicked over like it was a regular warm day. It said it was something his dad did. Yeah, charcoal sump heat nader. Nice. That's what uh, Dean had seen it as well. Yeah, Jason, that's what it did here. It, just, it was just rock bottom to all of a sudden, kaboom, warm. Nice. But anybody have any other questions about... Uh, your channel, how to get your 500 subs? Because man, I want to see all of you at the uh, next at this coming No Name Nationals. That awkward moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, if you get monetized at this stuff, think of it this way: you get paid to work on your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Since on a dollar, but you do. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it, it's a few bucks here and there, but <laughs> it, it, every little bit Everything helps. helps. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, part of my deal for actually bringing the coffee uh, with me to No Name Nationals is since I was uh, actually selling it and it's for my company, I got to write off a lot of that stuff. That works. Exactly. And that helps on the end of the year. Yeah. Infamous Nova, good to see you. Did, did you miss all the good info? Huh? <laughs> I don't know. What, what what are you looking for? Any questions you have? It's just a kind of a question and answer kind of thing. Congratulations, everything horsepower. You finally hit the 500. Really good. Congratulations. And the more subs you get, the more it comes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it took me a year to get 42. <laughs> Whoa. Tim, that was my, uh, that was my attitude, too. It says, uh, Tim Mopar 67 says, Bear Rose, I'll be there even if I don't get my 500 subscribers just to see everyone. And that exactly. was that was actually my uh, attitude as well. Is like I didn't care whether I got it or not. I wanted to get it, especially with all the work we put in. But we were going regardless. Yeah. Because anybody can go. 
Yeah. It's just you have to have 500 to compete. Auto Salvage Outlaws says, Bear Rose, if you bring a Ford, get a hold of two hacks. <laughs> I'm, I'm in contact with him all the time. Jeff is yep. a great guy at Two Hacks Garage. In fact, he just got over uh, being sick as well. Yeah. Hi, Ace Off Road. Man, I wish I could highlight these comments because that's a good one. That, that is a very good one. The key is actually making content. Exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. I know if I'm not making videos, I get no views. Yep. <laughs> Funny how that works. <laughs> this year, I'm going to make more effort to make uh, better videos. And YouTube works on a 365-day uh, cycle. So everything you're doing today is going to be the... Every view you get today is going to be the views you get all the way around 364 days around. So everything you're doing today is going to help you for the whole year around. Interesting. So if you're only getting a little bit, a little bit of views, a little bit of views, don't let it discourage you because that all builds up all the way around and it just it spirals and it'll spiral itself right out to a lot. Yeah. And you don't even know sometimes you do what I did and I did a filler video and I ended up with a hundred subs out of it. Yeah. I was surprised. The best video you think, you know, you can go out and shoot just what you think is going to be the most important. The This is the one, this is the one that's going to do it. Boom. Tank. And then, like you said, you you do a little filler video that you're like, oh, I got to do a video today. So I'll go out and I'll just do a little yes. one. And then that's the one that, boom, takes off and everybody watches. It's weird. <laughs> I probably watch a satisfying video of someone crushing a Prius. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a little story on that one. Uh, we were cruising down the road the other day to go pick up. I believe it was the 70 uh, satellite. Yeah, that, that was the bad day. And so I had to send a message to Bear Rose because Judah says, hey, we need to get a hold of Bear Rose. I need to borrow a <laughs> monster truck. <laughs> yeah. Uh. yeah, but you get to tire the thing up. Oh, my Lord, I'm done doing that. <laughs> I saw a video of this lady. She's someplace over, I think, either the Philippines or Thailand or someplace like that. And she's all a five foot two little petite thing. And she's over there working on 18 wheelers, sliding tires off, doing brake changes the whole nine yards and not even skipping a beat. It was, I was totally shocked. Me too. Yeah, well, JB and Buff are going to have a little D6 shootout. It's going to be a good one. Hmm. Both supercharged too. Very, very nice. I've got to, I've got to sit down and figure out. I haven't one hundred percent decided on cars that are going because I'm pretty sure it's going to be more than one. And I've already been told they'd like me to bring the '68 Fairlane back, which I would too. Simply because I'd like to actually tune it this time to where we could actually see what we're going to get with it all tuned up and actually hitting like it's supposed to. Yeah. But I would definitely like to see that uh, JB and Buffs uh, race right there. Yeah. What about the Valiant effort that Ian has? Well. Maybe that can go as well. Yeah, there's uh, there's all kinds of stuff going on with those different ones. Another thing that helped you on your uh, on videos, like you said uh, be just a little bit ago about putting content out. Um, biggest a bit of advice, and it's probably what boosted me the most was the advice I got from uh, Dallas Brown, uh, the president of the AHRA, the guy that's putting this whole known name nationals on with John yep. Wilburn. Go out one day, one day that you're free, that you can do anything and shoot seven videos. 
about five minutes long. Just make sure that they're you're filming this way, you know, not this way. Yeah. Make sure it's always this way because it's ad friendly. So YouTube will push that one more. They can they can run ads on it, yes. more ads on it. Go out and just shoot five to ten minute videos. Shoot seven of them. Then when you go in and you upload them, schedule them. One to come out uh, Monday at seven o'clock in the morning, Tuesday at seven o'clock in the morning, or whatever whatever time you want to choose, and then just let them go in the background. That way, you if you get called away during the week and you can't go out in the shop, you got videos coming out. You'll always have videos coming out during the day, even if you're not there. Yeah, that that really boosted me. So. All that time, <laughs> I, I sometimes I would just let them go, and I would have like, I it looked like I was out in the shop every single day, but I wasn't. Yeah, that's a true statement. That that trick really really helped. Yeah. And shorts, you just throw them in whenever you can. Yeah. Just yeah, they're a wild card. I think Ian's here. Hi, Ian. <laughs> that's a good one, Mr. Lars. LP94, that's another good channel right there. He's he's the JB's Little Shop's kidney. <laughs> I'm going to bring a good book to read while Buff's garage and jb's little shop race should be able to get a few chapters in <laughs> that's a good one but yeah that scheduling ups that that was the biggest advice the the biggest help that i got through all of that and the other one is just uh paying attention to your titles a number one is your titles because that's the first thing that YouTube looks at to push you because they don't know what your video is about. The machine doesn't know what it's about. So yeah. putting as many keywords as you can in your title space is vital. Okay. Like if They're you're probably going to be better at it than me. Probably. <laughs> yeah. And in the beginning, if you need help with that, um, YouTube has got a little thing up there that says uh, reuse. If, you, if you're doing a series build, you can reuse, click on that, it'll bring it up, and then you just change it, tweak it just a little bit. So, you know, you get a series going. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then throw them all in a playlist. As yeah. long as they all go together, you know. Yeah, and not just like random order. Yeah. Because yeah. honesty is key in the automotive world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another awkward moment of silence. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't hear the gears turn in there as I was reading the comments? <laughs> <laughs> so I I have to say it, he he's gonna have to get used to be on camera a little bit more. But he uh, he did do a pretty good job on his little uh, purchase clip from uh, on that car that he bought. Yeah. Oh, sweet. We even saw the yeah. I even got Duddy getting the forehead sweats. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> they have a they have a little uh pepper that comes out it's a little round red pepper they call them chili patines yeah. they're native to uh texas and extremely hot but it snuck up on him pretty good he was still yeah. sweating it out pretty good yep hey there mexpec happy new year man good to see you say no to ls swaps <laughs> I say no to anything with a computer, actually. I agree. Mm 
mostly because in all my cars, you know, a plastic motor just doesn't look right in them. Yeah. yeah. Like the car just yelling at you for, to put on your seatbelt. I, <laughs> uh, I, uh, that's, that's one of my favorite uh, little ones. I said, I'll go out and get into one of the uh, older cars and I'll open the door, turn the key on, pull the, uh, the light switch out with the engine off and everything it says, you hear anything? Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's, thought, that's uh -huh. perfect. Yes. Yeah. Heck, some of mine are so old that the dome light doesn't even come on. You got to reach up and throw the switch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they mind their own dang business. I mean, that 53 of mine, you know, the, the safety in, is, in it is it's got the rubber gasket that holds the windshield in. So when you hit it, the windshield pops out with you. <laughs> <laughs> and power steering was a, what, 24 inch steering wheel? <laughs> That's a big steering wheel. Oh, yeah. I don't think they were that big, but. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah do you, you guys have any more questions or anything? We got about ten minutes here before we jump on over to Dust Devil's place. Uh -huh. Yeah. Let's see here. The one for the dick stip tube. <laughs> what motor should we put in the uh, Ranchero? Uh, I'd mm -hmm. say the one that runs. Yeah, that can work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It would. Yes, it would help a lot It'd be <laughs> if it drives, has brakes, and has at least some protection of the weather. Not all. Jason Falk says on here, he says his Ram puts itself in park if I open the door in gear or take off the seatbelt. Really? Yeah. That mm -hmm. Lincoln, I hate it. Every time you get in it and put it in gear, it locks all the doors. Ah. <sighs> Uh, yeah, as well as the edge that we have. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, infamous Nova. Yeah, it's not like those old cars where you could just open the lock manually. Ah, yes, those are those are a little better. Yeah, they just have it built into the door. I'm like, the door's plastic. <laughs> and why why did they do away with drip rails? Yeah, mm, no, uh, it, that. That one's a fun one because uh, I know on my 03 Mustang, there's times when I need to roll the window down when it's raining. And yeah, it just comes pouring into the car. Wet. Definitely. That's cool, Tim Mopar. On my channel, I have a I have a like playlist and everyone I'm subscribed to is in the playlist so people can watch and that's that's a good way to show support right there yes uh -huh. and after you get your 500 uh the youtube will give you the community page and what you can do with that is you can share other people's videos yeah but they have to be long form videos shorts are really hard to share yeah mm-hmm Okay. Catch you later, Ari. Yeah, all my cars with drip rails, it can be 30 below out, freezing rain, and I can go out and I can open the door. All yeah. the ones without it, <clears throat> and they all got plastic door handles. Ah, itch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's got it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Pure Pontiac Garage also asks, why did they stop vent windows? No kidding. I still smoke, so. What are that windows? Mine still roll out, too. It's got the little handle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, on the 65 Fairlane that we have, the back window just not normally just goes down. It just, like, goes to the side. Yeah, it actually rotates into the uh, quarter panel instead of down. Yeah, down. Mm -hmm. So it pivots. 
that Mercury's even got the breezeway, so the back window, the back glass rolls mm -hmm. down. It really? only rolls down about that far, it but <laughs> it works. The, the old ones rolled all the way down. Yeah. Like the penny windows of the DeLorean. They just like just a small part comes down. Subaru did that too. Yeah. Wow. The early legacies. Had the half windows. Yeah. On the, you were supposed to be able to roll your windows down and drive through the rain and not get any water in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, it's enough to reach over and pay tolls, but I don't think it works anymore today. <laughs> drive throughs would probably be a pain. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You'd probably have to open the door and get out. Oh, it has gold wings. Mick Speck mm -hmm. says he had a lots of breezeway ca uh, cars. He loved them. Oh. Yeah. My wife loves that feature. It, it, it puts all the fresh air in the car without the wind noise. It, mm -hmm. And you can light up a cigarette and it just, all the smoke goes up to the top and right out. So nobody in the car, you know, smells it. Oh. Yeah. That sounds convenient. Very. The early ones, like the Lincolns and the Mercury's, uh -huh. yeah. up on the visor part of the above the windshield, yeah. it was actually a vent all the way across. Uh -huh. And when you roll the back window down, it would suck through the top of it there. Cool. Nice. But they rusted out like no tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's just like. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's rested. <laughs> Max Beck says your kid can crawl out into the trunk at speed. Then you don't have to worry about that kid anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it was a different time. You know, you just go home, make another one. It's all right. Yeah. First responder <laughs> said vent window went the way of the, went the way side with the AC being standard. Companies save more money making AC standard than they did on vent windows. I heard a lot of stories about people, you know, kids riding in the back and the breezeway cars that rolled all the way down and they'd throw stuff out the back window. That's just dumb. I think that, I think that had something to do with it. <laughs> Probably. Just like, mm -hmm. oh, look, piece of trash. Oh no, flow away. Catch a baby <laughs> bottle at about 60 mile an hour. Yeah, that, that probably hurt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, yes. <laughs> and... And it might land on someone else's car that's behind and then block their view. Real big hazard. Huh. I think he disappeared. No, he didn't. He was just laying down for a minute. The old Turnpike Cruiser. Oh, man. They only made that one for a little while. I never knew, I never knew that car existed. It's good to know. Mm hmm. I like the 58, 59, 60 years, whatever cars, all of them. I kind of call them the, the forgotten years because nobody really pays attention to the late 50s, first 60s cars. They had all kinds of goofy, weird stuff in them like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the slant eyes, you know, when the headlights were slanted. Uh -huh. Yeah. Whatever happened to pop up headlights? Wait, Too many yeah. Popeyes. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. Where is this? It's somewhere. Right Let's see if I can find this picture. I don't know if it'll show up on the screen well enough or not. Oh, that's something you don't see every day. I'll solo you out here. There we go. That's a late uh, 50s, early 60s Imperial. Imperial, yeah. yeah. I'd like to pull that one out of the, uh, out of the yard over there. Two-door? Hardtop? Two-door two hardtop. Um, pull it back up. Man, and it's straight. 
And uh, the one of the fun parts on it is nice. that back end. Oh, nice. man. Features. And it's all there. Wow. So, That'd be a good one. Right. I was talking to Rich from uh, 25 by 30 Garage about that one. I'd like to pull it out, but I got to get some cars out of my yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Compared to other people, you don't have a lot, but it's still kind of a lot. Is that what it is, Jason? 57, 58? Mm. Imperials, I don't know too much about I don't know much about it. Yeah, he went through it. I was sending him pictures, and he was going back and forth with what uh, what year we thought it was or whatever, because he was going uh, – I think I was driving and he uh, talking to him on the phone, and he was uh, sitting at the house uh, at that point. Southampton Coupe, huh, Mexican spec? Wow, that would be a beautiful car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the first thing you want to do with them is change the front end and rear end out of them, or at least the hubs. They oh. had that one bolt pattern that was only for them. And now you can never find it. That's where yeah. that's where Rich was saying he's got a set of the rims. So if we do go ahead and pull it out of that junkyard, he'll let he'll loan me the rims to get it out of the junkyard, but then I gotta go find my own rims. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, one time I was looking up through YouTube and I found a going door car that I've never seen before. A uh, Brooklyn SV1. On when the doors open, like you're not going to get in until 5 years. That's how fast the door opens. And I don't think you'll get out if it rolls over. Or cuz it's little Won't truck wheels work. No, I think the Imperial was all by itself. I believe they said Chrysler 300. So there are certain Chrysler 300s that actually had the same thing. Did it? Same. Uh, kind of like the pattern. Pontiac big pattern. The mm -hmm. ones that bolted on the outside. Mm -hmm. Old Volkswagen. That was another tough one. Yeah, that was a bit that, that big, big one right there. Um, I don't know if the engine and transmission are still in it and BNR. Uh, I figured if it doesn't, then I've got a 400, uh, big block, uh, Mopar that I may put in it. Just not sure at this point. I guess I could look at the pictures, but I'm not sure if it showed whether or not the engine was still there. Are they center sump or are they front sump? Imperials. That I don't know. I'm blank. You can tell I engine swap everything because I, that's the first question I, I ask on any of that is where's the oil sump? Don't know. And I know uh, Dodge used either center or front, right? Yeah. Yeah. Trucks were rear sump, I believe. Or, and then... Uh, Mid sump for the uh, cars to get around that K member. Yeah, I feel like cars these days, like the Real new sump? ones, are just gonna disappear here within like ten to twenty years because mm -hmm. they're they're not that well built compared to the older ones. Yeah, I might have a point there. Good thing about the old ones is they always hold value. Yeah. Until you do stupid stuff with them and get yourself upside down, but you know. <laughs> yeah. JB's little shop says he needs uh, the Spark Advance from the 2.8 cop car. How much? I'll send it to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, wait. That one's computerized. Interesting. Send me an email, JB. Send me your address. Uh, I'll look. I know I got one. 
But if I have two of them, I'll, I'll just send you the whole distributor. Okay. Heck, if I could afford the shipping, I'd send you the whole engine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm a lot of ways away. Well, there is always uh, No Name Nationals. Yeah. Yeah, that could work as well. Yeah. Yep. But it's more weight. I'm under an extreme. I know you do. This year. Yeah. Only 264 days in counting. 30, 3,500 pounds, and that includes trailer. Mm -hmm. So this Every build has got to be light. So, Dean, if it's the DeSoto 341, aren't those a, a smaller intake so you can't use the aftermarket intakes on those uh, old uh, Hemis? The DeSoto was the big one, wasn't it? The Dodge was the small one. Okay. DeSoto and Chrysler was the same. And Dodge Red Ram was the little one. I don't know. I'm waiting to see what it pops up in the uh, comments. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Hemis. Uh, I'll let you all in on a little secret. You look for Dodge two and a half, one and a half to two and a half ton trucks, big trucks, dualies. A lot of them had the Hemis in them, but they're the Red Rams. <clears throat> the Red Ram was a 241, Jason Falk says. Yeah. But as far as size wise, I know there's uh, one of them, and I believe it's the DeSotos that you could, they don't make an uh, aftermarket intake for. I could be wrong. I looked for years. That's, that's how I ended up with those two. <laughs> well, a 55 and a 57 Dodge trucks is because I was trying to get the Hemi. Yeah. Hmm. What did really happen to Chrysler? That one, it was a uh, first one I ever bought on the internet, uh, sight unseen. The guy delivered it. I didn't get ripped off because of the price. It very well worth it. Bought it out of the Oahe Desert. <clears throat> just south of Boise. Anyway, he said it was bone stock, still had the Hemi in it, and he'd deliver it if I gave him his asking price on it. He only wanted 1200 bucks for it. And I, I went ahead and did it, and he delivered it with a 318 in it, 69 318. <clears throat> but the truck's in good shape. It's got no rust. It, it was still worth it. That sounds real nice. All right. Now, if I would have had the Hemi, that would have been something else, though. So. Yeah. Yeah, Mexican Spec was saying that his, uh, where was it? His Imperial had a 392 Hemi in it. And it was an all-original car. Interesting. Mm-hmm. All right. So what time was Brian uh, starting his uh, live up? And that's just what I was looking for right there. <laughs> Not to turn it off or anything, but yeah. No, no. It's all good. Looks like he hasn't started yet, but just in case I miss anybody, uh just as soon as Brian starts up, we'll all be heading over to his place. There's the link to his video that's coming up. Uh, just in case the redirect something happens, uh, that link right there is where we'll all be headed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Over to Dust Devil's Garage, and we'll take a look at the knuckle duster. Ooh, nice. <laughs> The Humber here has pin a, that up. a Humber. 
Oh, Lord. That would be such a fun car to take to the No Name Nationals, Cousin Mike. I'll bet you that car only weighs about maybe 1,200 pounds. Light. Uh -huh. Either that or one of those 5960 Renaults. Boy, I I'll bet you those are under 1,000 pounds. Those, those things are tiny. Okay. But anybody have any more questions on uh, how to build up your channel, how to get your 500 subs, and how we can all meet at the No Name Nationals? Not really. Did you have any more questions? No. Okay. Right back at you, JV. Happy New Year to everybody out there. Happy New Year, guys. Yes. It's going to be a great year. I'm I'll just, just waiting out. for Dust Devil to start up here. As soon as he gets going, we'll all jump over. Auto Salvage Outlaws, I've got a friend who actually had a uh, 88 GT down to 1,800 pounds. 58 was the last year for the Hemi in the Imperial. Interesting. Mm. Anybody know what the last year was they put it in the trucks? No. The baby hemis, that is. Early Mopar, I don't know. Well, Mopar in general, I don't know much about. Changed oil on them, tuned them up, stuff like that. Nothing, nothing serious on them, though. Yeah. I don't know too much about Mopar either. I at least... <laughs> Hey there, Candy Cane. <laughs> Big Block 402, the guy who stole the show at the first inaugural No Name Nationals. I remember that. <laughs> you didn't win the burnout contest, but by golly, you put on one heck of a show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had lights going, and oh, it was cool. Mm. Was nice. Well, it looks like Dust Devil's up and going, so uh, I think we'll wrap this up and uh, we'll all meet over there. Again, everybody, Happy New Year's. It's all great to see you. And uh, again, I apologize about screwing up the stream yard here and not being able to highlight in your uh, comments. I was reading them. <laughs> and Stephen, always great to see you, man. And thank you for having us. Yes. Can't wait for you guys to get up here and uh, spin some wrenches with you. For yeah. sure. Hopefully it's not too cold, but warm. No. Ah, it'll be warm in June. Yeah. 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 And bring your fishing poles. Oh, okay. If I we got one. the Snake River. It's only about 200 yards from the house here. Oh, oh nice. Wow. <laughs> that may actually even convince my dad to show up. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, everybody out there. Thanks for stopping in, and uh, we'll do this every week, like usual, I think. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Great seeing y'all. Meantime, get out there and uh, keep the metal hot. All right. And just drive it. Yes. yes. <laughs> we'll see y'all next week, and, and over to Dust Devils. Yes.